Welcome to Caveman Bricks Builds and More. I am the Caveman. Hidden behind the box over here is my building partner, Judah. Uh, we are in the middle of 76389, also known as Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets. Last time we built bags one, two, and three, as well as doing the unboxing. This time we're going to be kind of in the middle part. We're only going to build today. We're going to do bags four, five, and six. And then uh, come back next time. We're going to finish it off with bags seven, eight, and nine and do a review of the whole thing. Judah has kind of done something weird to it. So I'm going to let him kind of take it apart uh, as we start building. But we are going to do bags four, five, and six last time. If you haven't seen one, two, and three, go back and check those out. But here is what we've got so far. We've got the snake here that uh, Judah likes to play with. He does have an opening mouth. And then we've got this castle thing that Judah has kind of put together kind of oddly. Listen, we're not, you only have four chips of the yeah. whole entire set. Hard to work. So that's what we've got. Not a lot. Not a lot. All right, there was why, why is this chocolate frog here? I don't know, but that's where it goes. What? All right. So here we go for bag four. Now bag four was our only bag that had two numbered bags in this whole thing. And we do get a little green snake, so we might be doing the dueling club in this one. Yeah. I imagine that this is gonna be one of the longer videos. You think so? As you said, there are four bags. And we need our extra base plate that, whoa, Oh no! A head just fell off. Oh. Father. I got it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think this is uh, Justin Fitch Fletcherly's head. Ooh. The Hufflepuff. Justin Fitch Fletchley. Oh, we do have a chocolate frog card. Any we'll guesses card. on what it is? Um, I'm going to guess Godric. Okay, I'm going to guess Slytherin. See what it is. I didn't know Fletchley Oh, I think it's Snape. I didn't know Fletchley. I haven't gotten all the pieces out yet. I didn't know Fletchley was bald. I haven't gotten all the pieces out yet. Oh, and it looks like they're going to share wands. Oh. oh, here we are. Okay. So we are going to, where to go? That extra base plate. Nope. I'm starting with a smaller one. Then we're going to do the extra base plate. Okay. Now the bigger one. Kind of worked. Kind of worked. Look at that pen. I'm sure it'll flatten out though. What are you doing? Are you putting them together? <clears throat> um, each bag has like there's like a thing where we review it but we did it at the very beginning and it's been a while since we've been able to do this because we've had some flu and strep running through the family and I don't remember what we're building anymore so it's going to kind of be a surprise for me so if you want to know you don't remember what we're building I know that we're building the chamber of scenes but I don't remember specifically what bag four built didn't it say somewhere? I, yeah, that's what I was just talking about. Is that it said at the very beginning. But mm -hmm. I don't remember what it was. 
put these together. This is probably going to be the longer one of the videos. You think so? It's four bags instead of three this time, technically, because there are two bag fours. Mm. I don't know. I can build pretty quick. How quick? I don't know. Pretty quick. Right now, I whoa. I think what we're doing is just the like the base layer because it's a lot of. Um, a lot of base plates getting hooked together right now. And it looks almost like stones and grass on the outside. We are on to step 90, though. Oh. Interesting. Ta-da! That is kind of the fun thing about the dollhouse thing, is you can put it together in a variety of different ways. Yeah. How they do this is, like, instead of putting, like, a ton of studs to hold them together, they put, like, Couple. Four studs. Mm. Yeah, so it doesn't like. So you can just pop mini castle. Look, mini castle. Of course, there are still limitations to this one, especially. Because it's very obviously supposed to be a backside and not like an open room. I will say though, I think that this is the largest Hogwarts Castle set we've put together since the like big, huge Hogwarts Castle. It qualifies in the top three because we only built four Hogwarts Castles. Well, remember we also did the, um, like the Great Hall. Yeah, that's and all number those. three. Yeah. And number four would be um, that mini one we got from the Advent Calendar. But the Great Hall is not the whole castle. I'm talking about like. Um, yeah, I know what you're talking. Whomping about. Willow yeah. and all of those. Wait, Whomping Willow had a castle. It was part of the castle. It was yeah, a part exactly. of the castle set. Like kind of like a put together castle like this yeah. one where you put the pieces together in certain ways to build a castle. I just meant this particular set, this Chamber of Secrets set, is probably the second biggest Hogwarts based set. Oh. That we have put together. So the other ones don't qualify. No, they're just not as big. They qualify. They're just not as big. And I saying. think the smallest would have been the one we've done in that advent calendar. <laughs> Probably. And then you have the one, the mock that you did up there. Yeah. Which I did do a video of it, not building it, but just kind of showing it off. It's kind of cool. There are certainly limitations. There's one thing I would change. I would make it so that it's more accessible. Like you can put these right next to each other to get more spots. Huh, there was a flame inside of that brick. A what? A flame. See the little flame? Why? I don't know. It was inside of it. Like be able to do something where you could do. Oh, oh dear. I did not do anything. Please don't break anything. I'm not breaking anything. I don't know what you're talking about. I 
thought this was going to be the Chamber of Secrets, but now I'm putting windows on. I don't think there would be windows on the chamber section. I think that's like the Great Hall. Did this have a Great Hall? I thought we already built the Great Hall somewhere else. I think that was for a different set. I don't know. I'm just lost. Sound like you're being careful. I am being careful though, just not wanting to cooperate as much as I would like it to. Maybe this is the Great Hall. Can't think of anything else that it would be. <clears throat> you know something that I wish that they would include in a set? What? The uh, points counter. Hmm? There's a device that is in Hogwarts that counts the house points. Where is it? Um, I'm not really sure. I just, I remember them. It's never in the movie, but they talk about going to look at it in the book and they can see the points kind of going up and down for each house. 10 points from Slytherin, million yeah. points from Gryffindor. Yeah. Three points to Hufflepuff. Zero points to Slytherin. Ravenclaw wins. Minus 500 points to, to Gryffindor. <coughs> I've kind of got an assortment where I can kind of imagine this being in ish. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can, I definitely can tell that this, none of this is supposed to, to be like sideways in any way. <coughs> mm. Then that messes with it, the build. I think, yeah, this is like the assortment I kind of got it in right now. It's like this. Oh, yeah, you can do that, can't you? Yeah. Also, can I stick in the truck? Just front. Might not be too far off. I think. I think this is what we're building yeah, the Great Hall. Yeah, I think it is the Great Hall. Yeah. Whoa, okay. Can you help me build one of these? What is that? A little candle holder. Why? To hold a candle. Why? Because there's so many candles in the Great Hall, remember? But they're all floating. Yeah. You can't see the pieces I need. And a cylinder. Got it. That's a strange thing. Yeah. Here? Yep. Nope. Yep. Was there ever a Lego set that you built that had like a lot of asymmetry? So it like angered you like 
one side was completely different from the other. It was like this set was so fragile all of a sudden. I can't think of one that was super asymmetrical. They're, they're fairly symmetrical all the time. Just the Hogwarts sets or Lego in general? Lego in general. If you do symmetrical, then it tends to be a little bit stronger. In terms of popularity? <clears throat> no, in terms of not breaking. Launching. Why did you take the head off? Missile incoming. Stop. Why? Because I asked you to. Ah, fine. And we can add, I'm pretty sure, even more once we bring out the others. Yeah. So once we finish this build, we're going to do one more video. We're going to bring out all of the uh, Hogwarts dollhouse sets and put them all together. Yeah. Kind of an arrange them in like kind of a. What there's a do. set Lego thing, so we're gonna do it like that, and then there's two GWP sets that GWP gift with purchase oh. uh, that are not included in the official thing that we are going to include. Uh, so we're gonna do it two different ways also in that pops, video. When are we? I, I mean, not. Sorry, Dad. Mm -hmm. When are we gonna do that um review video of the Gryffindor common room? We already did. Oh, you mean with all the things on it? Yeah. I I don't know. Maybe before we put it in the castle. I'm capsule. pretty sure it's part of the dollhouse. It is. Yep. Next time we do this, I really want to get the other dollhouse sets so I can just kind of arrange them. No, we're going to save it. What? Alright, fine, but I'm at, at least arranging the ones that we already have, like ha how I have them right now. How I'm imagining this is going to go is... Where's the box? Uh, it's over here on the room. I, I need it for reference. Why is it still? Oh, there's still bags in the Okay. This is my. Yeah, okay, so. I've gotten this part almost completely down. I just messed up the placement for the tower and stuff. That's pretty good. Yeah. I'd say so. I'd say that's pretty good. I'd say so. Oh, there's the dueling club launcher. That's. Hmm. That's weird. We're gonna figure it out, buddy. Just go ahead and put the box down, okay? We're gonna keep working on it. Why is it like that? That's weird. Oh, yep. That does confirm that we are building the Great Hall. Because yeah. I see the candles that we just built up. And I built Dumbledore's podium thing. Does it 
it say in the instruction book how to place them together? It does. Uh, You're just gonna have to wait till we get there. Oh, not waiting. Actually, I think we're almost done with bag four. I don't like that. I don't know why. Why? Why is like why? Why is it? Because I'm gonna like flip it. Yeah. I'm doing it like this so that the broomstick place has more freedom. Okay. Let's leave it like that for now. And then we'll, when it comes time to put it all together, we'll fix it. We'll change it. So what it's going to happen is Whoa. we're going to Okay. Put, we have to do one, two, three, four, five of these on top of each other four times. Hey, what are you doing? The big okay, can you just help me with this right now, please? Yeah. Okay, five of these on top of each other. Okay. What? see what we've been working on on the inside snake that Draco summons that Harry talks to. Yeah, I know, but like, hmm. It's confusing why they would put it in this set. Well, it's the same movie. But where's the dueling club? Right here. Watch. Boo! What? They fight on the table. Uh-huh. Now that there are two of them, they shall rule the world. There are two of them. I can't He's trying to get through, sir. Sir, let him through. Sorry, I speak partial tongue. There's no passage. I speak partial tongue. There's no passage. What does the speaking partial tongue have to do with letting him through the stuff? It means that I can talk to him. Basilisks aren't snakes, right? I, I guess technically they are because it still understands partial tongue. For that, it has something to do with it being a chicken thingy. I know that for sure. There's something going on. Maybe you've played with it too much. I don't think that's possible. You know what we didn't do this time? Is stained glass. 
almost every other time we've built the Great Hall, these windows have been like stained glass, like multicolored. Because in the Harry Potter movies, they were stained glass. Yeah, but this time it's not. Why? Whenever it comes to the lore of Harry Potter Legos, like one of the worst places to go to. Strongly Tower. Yep. Where Dumbledore takes a nosedive. Okay. Jude, I got good news. Yeah. We are pretty much done. Finally, Back someone four. fixed your brain. Somebody fixed his brain, guys. Finally. Just a few finishing touches here. And our great haul will be done. And then we'll be moving on to bag five. No. I told you this was going to be a long video. I really don't think it is. Bag five and six are both pretty That was equal to, small. like, these two... Plus the, these top three, the Broom, Tower, the uh, Gilderoy Office, and the Astronomy Tower. I don't think so. Those actually took quite a while, believe it or not. Small pieces. Small yeah. pieces. I think that video was almost an hour in length. Yeah. Anyways, I'm... Do you think if he gave the Lego Lego bricks, he he would basically become like the creator of that of like the world because he would be able to create anything? Sure. Like if he gave a Lego figure, kind of like in the Lego movie, how they're uh -huh. able to take things apart and put them back together in new ways. Uh huh. What if you just gave a Lego figure like one of those like ginormous blank like Lego squares that are just like Lego studs and a tub of Legos like a character from that movie? Do mm -hmm. you think they would be able to build a whole civilization? Sure. Why not? I think they'd have to be a master builder though. All we're gonna be to just do what Emmett does in like the beginning of the movie and just snap two like half slabs together to get something to throw at someone. All right, there's the great hall. We are done Ooh. with bag I can't put, four. I can't put them together, Dad. <laughs> All right, on to bag five, where we get another tile. And our glow-in-the-dark, nearly headless Nick. So, before I open this up, what do you think the tile is? I'm going to stick with Godric. All right, I'm going to say Nicholas, not Nicholas Fennell. Um, what's the name of the guy from Fantastic Beasts? That's a Hufflepuff. Don't know. Um... No. I just want to show it to the camera. So this is what we did with bag four here. There we go. Okay. Um, what's his name? Um, Newt Scamander. Oh, it's Snape again. So two in a row, Snapes. All right. Here is nearly headless. Wait, that doesn't have a face on it. He is nearly headless. He should have a face. That. Oh, you mean this? Yeah, it doesn't have a face. What? I remember seeing a light in this part. Yeah, like crystal Here it ball. Is. Yeah, that that's a crystal ball. Okay. Yeah. Also, what's the witch hat? 
Oh, it's a sorting it's hat. A sorting hat. Oh, neato. You know, when we review this figure, I think I'm going to go somewhere in the house and just, like, turn the lights off. We might could turn them off. Maybe next time we'll plan to do the build at night, we can turn the lights off and show it for just a second. Hope it shows up on the camera. Yeah. Oh, hey. I see him. Needle. There's a little like chocolate ice cream thing going in here. See? Look. Look like a little chocolate ice cream puff or top of a muffin or something going inside of this. Top of the morning. That's what it is. It's the top of the morning. To you, laddie. I just need one more, like, unique piece because it's still roofless. I think I'm building a roof right now. What do you think? Looking pretty good. It's not how it's supposed to go, but I like it this way. It just feels so natural no matter how I assort them. I don't know why this exists. I don't know, buddy. Like, what is this random platform that rotates? It's just for now, I guess. Why does... Does the castle have a laser gun? Canonically in the books or the movies? No. That's weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird that those move. Kind of weird. I think it's so that they can detach for more creative purposes. Oh, it might be. Like more. That would make sense. So now, because of that, I can just. Ah, there we go. I think. Yep. Oh, there we are. Look. And then I can just reattach the one I want. There's something on this clear piece. Looks like fish, leaves, I don't know. Oh, it's there's something written on it too. So I guess it's like a little potion container. Probably hard to see. Head. Shoulders. No. Ah. And. And the chocolate frog randomness continues as well. We're putting another chocolate frog in here. Oh dear. Hi dad. Hi. Okay, please don't like take things apart apart, okay? We want to keep them the same until we're done. I feel like this dollhouse set is like exactly what kids need. Like a need to like create things and let your their imaginations go wild. But at the same time, without them having to use like Legos, those like. Oh man, I played that. Oh, oh right. But at the same time, it lets them, like, not, it also helps them not build, it's like letting them build what they want mm -hmm. with some minor restrictions. Yeah. Because you know the weird looking things that kids can build. Yeah. And that is okay. Okay, we're gonna put sticker number one on here. We have not placed a sticker yet today. 
Sticker number one. Mm hmm. Next sticker number two. Probably not. Man, that did not go on well. Something got underneath it. And it hides the sorting hat. Do do do. There's the sorting hat. What? 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 Okay, I need that back, buddy. <laughs> what? 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 Why do you need it? Because I'm still building on it. I don't that. understand. Oh, it does say that that piece that this one does glow in the dark. So there is another glow in the dark piece and it's inside of here. Yeah. Oh, the little crystal ball thing? Mm -hmm. Ta-da! A new formation is approaching. Why is the Great Hall broken? Because you broke it? No. I mean like... It's supposed to stick with this. Like this. But it can't. Well, maybe we're just not to that point yet. Do it. Don't do it. Judah. I feel like this is meant for this guy. I think I'm going to build what I just built. Flip. What's this trap door for? It's not a trap door. It's for the dueling club. Like you can launch the figure off of it when they get hit by a spell. And I... I'm not... Eh. I bet this is like one of the rarest figures in... Lego history because it's like the only glow in the dark one. No, there's several glow in the dark ones. Figures? Mm -hmm. oh, there's even a Severus Snape glow in the dark figure from like way back when in the Harry How Potter does that series. Work? I don't know what there is. Chuck door mechanism definitely could be better. Doesn't exactly get the yeeting above the roof action I wished it had. I think we are almost done with number five. Mm 
I believe. Who fixed your brain? My brain has always been correct. Uh huh. Is it the comment section? No. Hmm. Ah, oh, so close. What should I be in? Ah, oh, missed it. Let's try Dumbledore. I wonder how the kids at the dueling club are going to explain the table being broken whenever the adults come back. They had an adult with them, remember? Two. Was one. Was the main one responsible at all? No, it was, um, what's his name? Kilderoy? Yeah. Was the other one a kind adult? No. It was Severus Snape. Exactly. Okay, I need the Great Hall, please. <gasps> Can I? No. Why? Why? Let me put that one on there. Yeah. You can still take off the ribs and replace them with something. Is yeah. the cool thing. Alright, on to the final bag of today, bag six. So let's show real quick what we, hang on, before you take everything apart from me, let's show what we did here with bag five. It's meant to do that now. I know. Okay. So with bag five, we added these three roof pieces and here's on the inside. There's like a black and white checkerboard up here. There's like a glow in the dark thing. Here's where the sorting hat is. There is another hidden chocolate frog in there. And then there's a couple of like potion bottles up in here. So that's what we did with bag five. So on to bag six, where we start the base layer with the chamber. Do you have more of these? No. Uh, that's what I'm saying, buddy. We're not through that yet. Just hang on, okay? At least now they're kind of connected. So uh, I want to. All right. It looks like we're getting Jenny in this one. Can't find Jenny's legs. Oh, there they are. And Tom Riddle's diary, which is sticker number six, no, 12? No, that's the wrong number. It's supposed to be 16. So that's a misprint in the instructions. I yoinked a little connector piece so I could combine these. Okay. So here we go. Here's Tom Riddle's diary. And it is, of course, a blank inside because you have to add your own ink. There's not very many little pieces in this bag. It should go pretty quick. You get Jenny built? Yee. Yeah. Give yeah. me the book. You made your book up to 
Do you know what this is supposed to be? This way or this way? Do you know the exact way the instructions show? Okay, you can't show. Oops. Oh, it has little bite marks from the uh, basculus on it. Bite marks? Yeah, and you know how Harry stabbed it with the yeah. thing. I wouldn't call that bite marks, though. Little thing marks? Yeah. And we're starting to build the chamber. Yeah. <gasps> Slide! Yeah, I saw that. Kind of weird looking, huh? Now they can slide once they get flung. But remember how they slide down in the movie into the chamber? Mm, yeah. I think that's why they added it, so that they can get that scene. Yeah. Harry Potter in the Slide of Evil. <laughs> Harry, a slide's destroying the in the castle. You must stop it. It. Okay. Do, 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 do. Ah. We. Stop. I win. And that's how the movie ends. <laughs> With just a slide, huh? That's an odd feature. What are you doing? I don't know. Okay. Spin on the snake. Spin. Okay, please. Okay. Those are some long bones. Bones? What are you talking about bones? Oh, to your right. And this is how many pieces. Oh, yeah. There some are some long, long bones, bones, some little bones, a frog bone. Frog. But he's, oh, a white frog. He's bones. I think it's more of white chocolate than it is bones. It's definitely meant to be like a frog skeleton, mm -hmm. but it looks more like white chocolate mm. to me than a skeleton. Hmm. The ultimate frog collection. We just find every single color of frog that yeah, we they, own. They stuck in a lot of just random chocolate frogs in this. It's I remember weird. we got a green one, so we have a brown one, a white one, a green one. I think one time we got a pink one. Yeah, we did, yeah. I think in this set, in the last build video, we got a pink one. We did? I think so. Oh yeah, it's right in there. So, I say we do frog video. It's like we take all of our Lego frogs that are like this, all the different color variations. Mm -hmm. 
and we compare them by how much we like them with the design. And we just do a whole video about frogs. I don't think I want to do that. Why not? Frogs are cool. You know, I think one time whenever you're leaving, I'm just going to do a random build video that I thought might be a good idea for the channel. Mm. And just like, it's just me and Micah. You know, you did one one time and then you never finished it. Yeah, we kind of lost. We it, it, I think school started and we didn't have much time. All right, I need the white frog. I'm pretty sure school started like recently after that video, so I need the slide. Didn't get much time to finish it, and we kind of just forgot about it, and we finished it on our own. Yeah. That and both of our devices didn't have enough storage to hold the both parts. We didn't need to hold both parts. We tried doing. Part one, and let's just say we ran out of storage before we could finish the video, and our and my phone turned off. So me probably do it now if I want to do, but I'm not sure. Still an idea, just me or just Micah or just me and Micah, not you, no adults. You won't. I just noticed that there's a frog behind Gilderoy's chair. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Also, Wizard's Chest. Yeah, I, that's what I was wondering if that's what that was, was Wizard's Chest. two of them. Oh, here are the wands, by the way. Okay. Thank you. Right over here with the other extra pieces. Another idea I have is, since we have so many wands, why don't we just take all the different wand colors and, like, compare them? And as well. Kind of like the frogs, but with wands instead of frogs. Hmm. Like the old, just thick ones, the newer ones, yeah. that purple wand we got. Yeah, we did get one purple wand, didn't we? Do you remember who it belonged to? A person from, like, Fantastic Beasts. Yeah. Query, I think is her name. It was really neat. Yeah. I'd say that's my favorite one. I want them to bring that color back. It's definitely unique. You don't yes. have very many purples. I'm pretty sure that's the only place you can get a purple wand. It might be. That's like the modern day ones where you gotta like pop them out. Oh my goodness, I thought the slide was like a sarcophagus for a second. This is going to cover it up. Yep. Oh, interesting. Wait, uh, how are you supposed to get to it? I don't know. What? Maybe you're not. What? 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 I can only imagine that Salazar just wanted to make like a fun little like theme park underneath Hogwarts. And that's the origin story of the Chamber of Secrets. It was meant to be an amusement park before like... With an incredibly dangerous animal in he it? He died. Yeah, as like an attraction. And who knows, what if like Voldemort placed it there? No. <laughs> Walmart was around for hundreds of years. No, he was like 75 when he died. Alright. 
think I missed this going somewhere over here. Okay, there we go. So this is what bag six built, the beginning of the chamber. And that's it for today. Ooh. Uh, Julia, look, it looks like this is supposed to go underneath. Oh. oh. No. And it looks like you have these flipped. I don't like it like that, though. It's annoying because this interferes. It's okay. There we go. Cool. So there we go. That's what we've built so far. This Next time, we will elevated. do bags 7, 8, and 9 and do a full review. So thanks for joining us. And until next time, happy building. Happy building, everyone.